Hey guys, what's up? Techerform.us. So in the last video, uh, you saw me unbox all this great technology from OWC. If you want to check out that video, it will be right here. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me unbox this. Now to get into the fun stuff, uh, the installation process. So uh, I have the MacBook Pro right down there. I'm going to grab it in a minute and uh, take the bottom off for you guys. So uh, let's get into this. I think I'll we'll install the RAM first and then jump over to the SSD and the uh, data doubler. Okay guys, so once you get your MacBook Pro turned over on its back, turned off completely, cooled down, uh, discharge yourself onto a metal object, other than the Mac of course, uh, you can start removing the screws. Uh, I know some of these screws are different, so I'm just going to put them to the corresponding spot on my board here, and uh, hopefully it will all work out. So I got the screwdriver that they included here, uh, it just came with this free little kit, so I just grabbed this one, looked like it would work fine, uh, the size looks about right. So, uh, let's get right into this and I'll speed this up. Okay, so now that we have all the screws out, uh, from what I've seen, you just pop this off just like that and uh, you have your MacBook Pro. So, put that to the side. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, replacing the RAM with uh, 8 gigabytes of DDR3-1333, so that's the RAM right there. Uh, I'm also going to be uh, getting rid of the optical drive while putting it somewhere safe and uh, moving the SSD into the uh, HDD bay and moving the my uh, 320 HDD into the optical drive bay via the data doubler. So, you know, I'm playing around with this inside quite a bit, but uh, we'll get right into this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be uh, removing this ramp. Okay, there we go. Second stick out of the bay. Put that up there. And uh, let's get this ram open. Okay, so got this ram open. Uh, let's take this right out of the packaging, like it looks like they want you to. Being careful not to break the RAM, there we go. One stick out, put that right there. Second stick. Second stick is out. Let's get our RAM. Uh, slide it in the way it was so uh, you can see that the divider is right there so let's try to slide it into the same spot and uh, push it down so there we go RAM looks like it's seated push it down first piece is in let's put the second piece in the exact same way in the top slot Okay, second piece is now in. Uh, let's push it down. There we go, now it's seated. So, looks like RAM is installed. So, now let's move on to uh, removing the uh, HDD. Okay, so to remove the HDD, all we need to do is remove these two screws, and uh, the hard drive should pull up. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have those screws out, the hard drive should pull right out, like it just did. So, uh, to remove the hard drive, I believe all we have to do is uh, disconnect this cable. And the hard drive is out. Okay, so before I install my SSD, I believe I am just going to... Uh, uh, remove the optical drive. So to remove the optical drive, uh, I believe it's a little more complicated than the uh, hard drive. However, uh, I have my little trusty instruction manual here. And yes, I know. Who reads instructions? <laughs> well, Colt when he's taking apart his MacBook Pro so he doesn't screw anything up. So, uh, get your correct screwdriver here and... Uh, looks like the first screw we need to take out is that one, followed by that one. So, if we line it up, 
that screw is right there, that screw is right there. So let's get into this. And seems we have run into a problem. So, as you can see, I have these cables over here, but they go right to the edge. Their cables don't. So, uh, we got an issue. So, I'm just going to guess. Uh, I'm going to continue with the, with the uh, removal process. Do everything else they say. And if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, I find the screw. Okay guys, well, as you can see, I got it out. So, uh, that was way more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, turns out, this direction booklet, uh, uh, they changed it a little bit in the 2011. I uh, wouldn't think they would, but they did. So, uh, this was not caused by me, by the way, that was manufacturing. Because, as you can see, there was nothing on the bottom here that could have done that. So, that wasn't me. Uh, basically... Uh, now, I'm going to take everything off here. I need to take off and get this drive ready to go in here and then put the SSD in here. Uh, you guys can't tell. That literally was just 20 minutes. Uh, I even cut the iPhone. I had to look up a manual online <laughs> of how to take this assembly apart on the 2011. But as you can see, Google saved my ass. And uh, if we can get this all back together working correctly... Uh, you can't see it. I have an army of screws over here. Uh, it'll be working. So uh, well, let's get into this. Okay. So as you can see, got the uh, hard drive in here in the DigiDoubler. And uh, quite honestly, I'm getting kind of tired of filming this video. So I'm going to wrap this up and uh, start cutting a little bit more. Like jump cutting. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, got the bottom one, and uh, we're just going to start putting these screws in. Okay, so now that we got all the screws in, uh, let's flip this machine over. And uh, give our first boot. Okay, so uh, let's boot this up. I'm actually going to uh, option boot. Okay, so it found my Macintosh hard drive. That's the that's a good sign. Apple logo. And we heard a bong, that's also a good sign because that means the RAM is working. 
So, it is booting into the hard drive, which is currently in the SSD bay. Uh, I mean, in the uh, optical drive bay. So that means that's working. I hear the hard drive. Everything looks to be working so far. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is booting off the hard drive, not the SSD, so it's probably going to take longer. Okay, so uh, let's put in my password. And, uh, okay. Ignore. So, it's working. So, optical drive works. I'm booted into the optical drive. Uh, I will have future uh, stuff on this. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the disk over. So, what I'm going to do is uh, basically just uh, go into uh, Disk Manager and just uh, mirror the drive onto the SSD. And hopefully, that should work because I have it under 100 gigs of space and I'm going to move the other over to iTunes until I reformat the hard drive. So, uh, let's get into that. And... I'm not going to show you guys that process, so I'm signing off here. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com, forward slash quote 4595, and check out the website, techinform.us. We have great tech-related content posted every day. Thanks, guys. Also, check out my vlogging account, youtube.com, forward slash Colts vlogging. And I apologize that this video was incredibly long. I literally have an hour of footage, and I'm going to probably move it down to, what, 10, 13 minutes? Uh, maybe a little more. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, before I sign off, let's just take a quick look about this Mac. Let's see if it reads 8 gigs. And it does. Memory, 8 gigabytes. Uh, you guys can't see that. There you go. So, thanks guys. See you in the next video. Peace out.